Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of UE4. Today, let's look at what's called casting. Before I can get into really what casting is, we need to understand fundamentally the concept of generic and specific references. To illustrate this point and better understand it, I've created two types of objects here. One is the point light object, as we can tell in the world outliner, right here, point light. The other is a static mesh actor. These are two intrinsically unique objects. They don't really, they share some common traits, but they're treated uniquely. What I want to look at is how in code we would go about referencing these objects. So to dive into this, I'm going to open up the level blueprint editor. And here we have a little bit of code set up for us. We have reference to the point light and we have a reference to the cube. Now to take a look at this, we have what's right here is an actor reference variable. And the actor reference is what's called a generic reference. It can hold a reference to really any kind of object we can place in the scene. Which, because both of these objects can be placed in the scene, we can hook them both up to this actor reference variable. Now that's awesome. That means we can transport all kinds of different objects in a single variable. We don't have to keep making one after another for every type of object we want to transport. But the danger of this is because we can add anything to it, if we want to, let's say, try to reference a component of it, let's say for point light, we want to reference the intensity to the light. But right now, cube's hooked up to it. Okay, so get intensity. It's not here. Now, why would that be? The actor variable type of actor data type does not have any lighting data because it's supposed to hold a lot of different types of things. So it holds generic data. This is the problem, is we want to really put anything you like into it, but how do we determine what it is? Now, a great reference and a great example for this is, I'm sure everyone's family had this, is that, that tin can of cookies. You come home from a long day, you see that tin can of cookies, you're like, oh man, I want to have a cookie. No, I've earned it, I've totally earned it. And you go up to it and you pop it open and you're thinking to see this beautiful batch of cookies, but it's a pile of like knitting supplies. I'm pretty sure we've all had this experience and it's frustrating. We, we expect something that's in it, but it's not there. That is the danger of generic references. Alternative to that, we have these specific references, which if you click on them, is a point light reference and a static mesh reference. If we hook the point light light up, it can successfully go into the point light reference, as we expect, but not static mesh reference. This is what I mean by specific and generic references. These are specific references. They expect a specific thing. Actor, on the other hand, can take whatever it feels like taking, which is, eh, as you can tell, a bit dangerous. Okay, I talked a lot. I've said a bunch of words. What does it have to do with casting? Casting is the act of taking an actor reference or a generic reference and turning it into a specific, refer specific reference. Okay, cool, so what does it look like? Let's say, for example, we have a situation like this. This act reference is holding a cube or a static mesh act reference. We want to get something about the cube. Okay. How do we do that? We know for a fact that this won't have everything relating to it. What we can do is do what's called casting, which is converting this reference into the type of our choosing. So I can look up cast to static mesh actor. It's going to take in an object, or it's what's called a wild card, wild card being anything. It's going to say, okay, I've taken an actor. I'm going to attempt to convert it to a static mesh actor reference. If I'm successful, which basically means, is this actually a stack mesh no, actor? If it is, this path is executed, which means you're successful. This pin here will now return a specific reference, allowing you to access the unique properties like materials uh, for lighting, it'd be intensity, things like that. However, if your setup looks like this, where the point light is actually hooked up, 
this will happen because it fails. At least in this situation, we can visualize it. We can say, oh, the point light's hooked up to it. This would obviously be a point light, which means this will obviously fail. That is where there's a bit of a challenge. But that is the act of casting. Casting is merely taking a generic reference and converting it to a specific reference. It's a powerful tool, but it's going to become very, very prevalent in your work pretty much forever. And that's it. Thank you once again for joining me. If you liked this video or found it useful, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. But most importantly, please leave your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. I'd love to hear them all. See you all in the next one.